The clock starts now. Oh my God. We're halfway through the conversation and I have not had a win yet. I'm not used to this pressure. 10 minutes left. I grab a product, it goes on top of your eye. And the wipes aren't helping. Allure and CoverGirl have joined forces to discover the next big beauty influencer. We brought five aspiring influencers to LA to Allure Incubator headquarters. They will compete in six challenges at their own custom-built vlogging stations with hundreds of CoverGirl products. And the clock starts now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Only one will win the grand prize. A contract to become a member of CoverGirl Collective, their elite group of influencers. I'm your host, Jasmine Sanders, AKA Golden Barbie, and welcome to the first ever Allure Incubator in collaboration with CoverGirl. Hello, beauty influencers. Welcome back and congrats on making it to Allure Incubator in collaboration with CoverGirl. And special congratulations to Rebecca for winning the third challenge. I'm excited for our next challenge, but first I'd like to introduce our permanent judges, Michelle Lee, Editor-in-Chief of Allure. Hi, everyone. And Ukanwa Ojo, Global Senior Vice President of CoverGirl. Hi. Now, in today's Allure Incubator, our own judge, Michelle Lee, will share some insider wisdom to approaching your social media like it's a media brand. So I'm gonna give you some of my tips today for being the editor-in-chief of your own brand. So number one, think about pace. When I'm putting together an issue of Allure, I'm always thinking about peaks and valleys. It's those ups and downs that are gonna keep people engaged and surprised. So number two, know your audience. The great thing about social media is that it can be a two-way street. Know who you're speaking to, what skill level they're at, and what they love from you. Number three, plan carefully. Yes, we're all creatives, but remember, content is a business. In the long term, have a content calendar, and for short-term projects like our challenges here today, mapping out a loose plan will help you keep from feeling panicked. So good luck. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Today, you will create two looks inspired by the decadent decade of the 1980s. So, this challenge is an 80s challenge. Girl, I was born in the 90s. 80s pop is all about a bold and bright use of color. This challenge is inspired by an 80s trend called Day to Night, allowing people to evolve their makeup and elevate the drama. You will create two distinct looks, one 80s look ready for day and one ready for night. Here are the CoverGirl products you will be using. Total Tease Mascara, Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner, True Naked Eyeshadow Palette, Fill and Define Brow Pencil, and O Sugar Lip Balm. You have 45 minutes to shoot your 80s inspired day to night tutorial, and the clock starts now. Oh my God. <laughs> I was about to try it. <laughs> Go to the ears. Yep. Now I can do a day to night look, but a day to night look plus a theme plus a time crunch, that's a lot. I'm setting the primer just to ensure that the colors that we use today will pop. In today's video, I'm going to start by priming my lid. That is number one step on any eye tutorial. And then for the lashes, we're gonna take the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. With this color, I'm gonna apply it in my crease, but I'm not gonna take it as far as I've taken the other colors. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl's Jewels palette. Here is the issue with a 1980s daytime look. There's just no good daytime looks in the 80s. Yeah, that's what I Kind of ombre from a lighter to a darker blush. Oh no, I'm having a mishap. Oh, Jesus. Hi, how you doing? Wait, this might be a bad time. And the wipes aren't helping? Trying to be the innovative makeup artist that I am, I grab a product. So I used a shadow stick meant for your lid in my waterline. It goes on top of your eye, not in your eye. Good job, Rebecca. Okay, recover. You got a good recover there. Thanks. All right, good luck. All right, we'll, Thank you. we'll leave you to it. Thank you so much. 
at this point, we're halfway through the conversation and I have not had a win yet. I'm not used to this pressure. I'm used to pressure, but this is a different type of pressure. Hey, Kenneth. Hello. How's Lee? it going? It's going great. What was your inspiration? I just thought of the 80s, and when I thought of the 80s, I was like a whole bunch of color, and I like color, actually, even mm -hmm. though I haven't shown it much. All right, we see you bringing it. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Five-minute warning. There's five minutes. I throw some shapes and dots onto the look. I feel like those are very true to my style, and there's something I like to throw in my looks from time to time, so I really like it, and I hope the judges do, too. As I look at my final look, I feel like I did kind of add on too much because I finished early yet again, and so I got bored and was like, you know what, let's let's do this, let's do that. Go ahead and put it on our forehead as well. Time's up. You have 30 minutes to edit. Get to work. I'm feeling pretty good about my eyes. I think they're pretty clean, well done. But I threw on a fuchsia lip because it's such an 80s thing, and I'm not really sure about it. Put your phones down and we're gonna take a look at your tutorials. Do I like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, today is gonna be super fun. We're going to do a day to night 80s lip. Using my concealer as a base, I'm gonna start with the eyes. I think this goes on your lid. Pretty good. We're gonna leave it on the lid. Okay, and this completes your 80s inspired daytime look. Next, we're gonna bump it up and take it to a dramatic nighttime look. Using the Katy Perry CoverGirl collection, I am going to apply this beautiful pink lip gloss. I'm okay with the cheek. From this angle, it actually looks like a holographic, holographic highlight. Yeah. I feel like she may have went a little more editorial. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like really going for that glam shot. Yeah. All right, let's check out the next tutorial. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a day to night look. 80s edition. We're just gonna go ahead and lay that across the lid. Like no matter what she puts on her lids, it looks beautiful. I find that putting it directly on the lid allows you to get more pigment where you want it, and then brushing it onto the brush allows you to really diffuse the product. You did a good job educating. She slowed down a lot. And there we go, there's our 80s daytime look. Now when I think 80s, I definitely think fun geometric shapes, so I'm gonna go in with some colorful liners and just go ahead and add those to one eye just to kind of accent. And for the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take this really pretty pinky nude shade. I wish she had stopped. Oh, yeah. That's it, there you have it, our bold 80s day to night makeup. I threw everything onto my face, but we still get those 80s vibes. I just think there's something that took it down a little bit. It feels yeah. less elevated. Elevated, I Yeah, agree. I mean, I think the dots are okay, but there's something about the shapes that feels a little bit just unfinished. So today we're gonna to be doing an 80s inspired look and we're gonna take it from day to night. Feels like this challenge should be for her to win. First, I'm gonna be laying down a base on the eyelids with the flamed out shadow pencil by CoverGirl. The 80s are all about the dramatic, colorful blush. Feeling very safe for now. All right, now we're gonna go in with some steps to take this eye look from day to night. And then for the lips, I'm going to be finishing off with the Cover Curl Lip Gloss and Lip Lava. What are you thinking? I don't think the execution yeah. was as strong as it could be. Her artistry is not coming through. Yeah. All right, let's check out the next tutorial. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through the 80s. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend out the edges. The colors that you chose are really beautiful together. To finish off the daytime look, I'm going to go in with a more natural lash. There you go. Beautiful blending. Yeah. Wow. It's really lovely. Now let's transform this daytime look into a nighttime look. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that dark color out. Blending the original green color into the black gives it this cute ombre effect at the bottom of the eye. We're gonna be using the Katie Cat Gloss from CoverGirl. On the outer corners of the lip, I went in with 325. I don't know that I saw the hugest difference in his day and night. night. I wish that he, he had planned the day a little bit better. In today's video, I'm going to start by showing you a day to night look. So what this is going to do, it's going to create a sharp edge at the end. I like that she started underneath. These two colors right here in this blush palette, and I'm going to definitely boost up the blush because in the 80s, there were really flushed pink cheeks. 
So this is it for the fun 80s inspired daytime look. It was actually simple, but it looks like she did a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and take this purple color here and pop this into the crease okay. and blend it and kind of add this as a transition for that deeper purple. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Really beautiful. I mean, the Stunning. lip is great. Now we're going to give you each some feedback on your tutorials. Rebecca, we think your eye makeup is stunning. We're so impressed that you listened to what I shared about making a content plan, and the technique you used to create the holographic cheek was innovative. That said, we're not sure it translates from every angle. Right. Mm -hmm. Ivy, we love that you took our advice and really slowed down your teach. You were warm, personable, and you had some really great tips. Your eye makeup was stunning. We weren't really sold on the added graphic elements. Okay. Bethany, we appreciate your unique approach to lining your eye from underneath, but we feel the artistry could have been a little elevated. We got less 80s and more Comic-Con. Thanks. Tanya, we appreciate your less is more approach to your daytime look. But when it came to your night look, we wish you had exercised a little bit more restraint and not added as much purple to your lids. Kenneth, we think that your day look is the strongest look you've done with us. However, your challenge was to transition from day into night, and both looks ultimately were too similar. And the winner of the 80s pop challenge is... Rebecca. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, I won. I wasn't sure I was gonna win this one, but I'm feeling pretty great. <laughs> I respect Rebecca as an artist. I love her. Did I think my look was slightly stronger? Definitely, but I understood what the judges were saying. Okay, influencers, we'll see you back at Allure Incubator. Have a great night. I'm starting to feel a little bit defeated. I feel like I don't know what the judge is like, and I'm giving it my all, so I'm not quite sure where I'm going wrong, but I know my skills, and I know I can do better next time. Because I'm here to win. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. The clock starts now. This darn time. I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this. Girl, you just need to finish this. It's my pitch that I'm really concerned about. Still not used to talking to the camera. One minute. Oh, well, okay. 